Divya, let me come to you first. You know, we will discuss the brazen, brazen nature of this, uh, you know, this attack in just a moment. But first, the sick politics surrounding this case. Social media abuzz initially with comment focusing on how the vehicle used was a Waqf board leader's car. The focus was on the Waqf board leader, not on the crime. Isn't it awful that there are those who wish to see even rape through a communal prism? I think it's awful and it's extremely unfortunate that every time there is an incident like this, it becomes a political slugfest. The crime itself is... Uh, kept aside and everyone else gets into, you know, oh, he did this and he's involved and things like that. And I think for the victim, the survivor and the family who already had a harrowing experience, it becomes all the more magnified. And I think especially in an incident like this, which is so sensitive, that things should have been handled more sensitively. But unfortunately, this is what happens every time it becomes a political slugfest.